Hello and welcome to this any percent tutorial for Ion Fury. This first video is going to cover the basics of speed tech and movement, as well as some key bindings. To start off, I'm going to load up this save here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the enemy AI so they don't bother me while I try to talk and show off some things. Now our most basic form of movement is going to be SR40, which pretty much most uh, first person shooters from the 90s had this little quirk in it where it combines your speed from moving forward as well as strafing. And by holding down both of those keys, alternating between A and D, or if you want to go backwards, it's S and D and A. And then that's how we get around primarily. There's also a slightly faster way to do this. When we hold down the strafe on key, which is default to alt, and our strafe keys. This can be a little bit restrictive, and that's why we normally only do this on straight paths like this across this bridge here. As we cannot turn or look around. Next thing I want to cover is ladder jumping. If you spam your jump key while moving up a ladder, you'll get up it just slightly faster. It's not going to be a massive difference, game breaking or anything like that, but it does help. Now the next thing I want to show is strafe jumping, which simply combines your strafe movements, your SR40 or SR50, and hitting your jump key. I've got a present for you. And that is how we get across this gap here for this sequence break here in this level. Just like that. The next thing I want to show is crouch jumping. I come to this wall here, push this trash bag forward a bit. Try to jump up to this ledge. I can't quite make it, even with the added speed from strafe running. If I hit my crouch key at the height of my jump, I can reach the top, just like that. The next thing I want to show is the fall stun cancel. Now if you were to fall off this bridge here, Shelly will get stunned for a second before you can move again. And we can somewhat negate this by holding down our crouch key and releasing just as she hits the ground. It's not going to be a huge difference, but it does help your momentum a little bit. Now the next thing I want to show off is the reload cancel. During intense firefights, we want to keep on firing our weapon to clear out enemies that are blocking us or potentially killing us. And to do that, we simply Hit our reload key and swap weapons back and forth. You can do this with the mouse wheel. You can also do this by pressing your quick swap electrifier and selecting the weapon you had previously. Again, that's what this looks like. And you can achieve this by every, on every weapon that has a reload function. Now the next trick I want to show you is what I personally call pump cancelling. And that is primarily used with the disperser here. It can be done with any other weapon that reloads, but there isn't much need for it. And we do this by hitting your reload key, swapping to your electrifier, and pressing the fire key before Shelly puts the shotgun away. Now, if you do this in a rhythmic pattern, you can rapid fire the disperser shotgun or the grenade launcher. And that'll look like this.
as you can imagine, with the grenade launcher, this can be pretty devastating and is very useful for some boss fights, especially Eskel at the end. Now I want to cover the keybinds. Go to the options here, control setup, keyboard, configure keys. And you'll see what I personally use. Now, when it comes to keybinds, it change it it depends on the person. Just do whatever you personally find comfortable for you. But I would recommend that you have every weapon bound to a key as well as your your med kit because default is on M and that's too far to reach and there's definitely going to be times when you're going to need this. Uh, another just personal preference for me, I also have crouch bound to my middle mouse button. And that's just, I, I find more comfortable to use. It frees up my hand whenever I'm moving around fast. So I don't have to reach over with my pinky and hit control or use my index finger to hit C. I just find it better that way. But do whatever fits best for you. And that's going to cover everything for this first section of the video series. The next video is going to cover the first zone of the game. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.